What's going on, guys? It's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef, and this is episode number two of the Nano Build. So today we're going to be talking about fishless cycling and how to accomplish that. This will be the first time that I've ever used chemicals to do fishless cycling. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see the result and if there is any benefit to using chemicals with fishless cycling instead of the old school method of using uncooked shrimp or fish food. But before we jump into that, two things. One, if you're new to Mad Hatter's Reef, please hit the subscribe button. Helps me out, helps the show out. And the second piece of this, I have some very big news that I'm going to be sharing at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be using two products from Dr. Tim's Aquatics. One of them is the one and only live nitrifying bacteria, and the other is ammonium chloride. So I've never actually done fishless cycling this way. I've always done it the old way of using uncooked shrimp or fish food. I gotta say right off the bat that I actually prefer this method, and I think I'm going to use this going forward. Granted, I haven't been through the entire process yet, but from what I'm seeing, I like the, the control to being able to dial it in at my own speed. And from what I understand, if you do this uh, correctly, you can cycle an aquarium within a week as opposed to three weeks to a month, what has been my experience in the past. All right, so the first step in official cycling is adding your one and only to the aquarium. And when you add it to the aquarium, it's going to cloud up the water a little bit. And that's actually a good thing. You wanna make sure that it is doing that because that means the product is doing what it's supposed to. Something else to keep in mind is one and only cannot be overdosed. This two ounce bottle is rated to treat up to 30 gallons and I used probably about half of it in the Nano, which is only five gallons. And that's great because it makes it a foolproof product. You know, one less thing you gotta worry about, especially being if you're new to the hobby, that can make it that much easier to use. The next step is to take the ammonium chloride and add one drop per gallon to your aquarium. And what this is going to do for you is it's going to increase the ammonia in your aquarium to two parts per million, which is just enough to jumpstart the nitrifying bacteria in your aquarium and start converting the ammonia into nitrite or NO2, which is the second stepping stone in the nitrogen cycle. After the ammonium is added to the aquarium, uh, you're supposed to wait 24 hours before you start testing the water to see what your levels are at in the aquarium. You're gonna be wanting to test your ammonia and your NO2. A lot of times when you go to test your aquarium water, uh, people find using the one and only that ammonia levels are at zero. And this is because the bacteria has already gone to work converting ammonia into NO2. All right, so we have our one and only in the Nano. We have added our five drops of ammonium, and now it's time to play the waiting game. I'm going to wait about 24 hours and then start testing and taking steps from there to cycle this aquarium. And this is really going to be a test to see how quick I can actually cycle this aquarium. So today is February 8th, and there will be a follow-up video showing you guys the rest of the process of fishless cycling. And it's also gonna be a test to show that this product um, actually does work and if it does eliminate the amount of time it takes to cycle a saltwater aquarium. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Mad Hatter's Reef and Fishless Cycling. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps me out, helps the show out. And be sure to check out madhattersreef.com. There's a lot of information on there for new and advanced hobbyists, so be sure to check it out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I thank you and I will see you next time. You thought I was gonna forget about you, didn't you? All right, so the big secret is I'm going to be building a 220 gallon saltwater aquarium. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be documenting the whole process on YouTube and I will continue to do the nano as well. So if you're new to Mad Hatter's Reef, please subscribe and uh, check out the website. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Sorry I played a trick on you, uh, but I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time. I can just see the comments now. Jeff, you didn't tell us any secrets. That's how I type. That's down here, like that, hunched over, right behind. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop this.